So in this video, we will talk about routing loops, how to simulate them and fix them, and what issues can they cause. This topology here is a very typical medium to large enterprise topology where you would have more than two points of redistribution between OSPF and BGP. So in this setup, I've got six routers, you know, a, a scaled down version of how you would notice medium to large enterprises. And they would be running OSPF BGP with mutual redistribution. Obviously they'll have a lot of checks and balances, but just to create the loop routing loop here, I have simply redistributed OSPF and BGP on the edge routers, which are one, two, five, and four. Three and six are not running BGP. There is an, so all of these are routers and links have OSPF enabled. And there's also an IBGP link between one and two and IBGP link between four and five. This is the routing design in place, redistribution on four routers. And I am running trace routes on three, from three towards six and from, from six towards three. And I'll show you, uh, and I'm running the scripts. And you'll see the, you know, three is able to get to six and uh, few hops and vice versa. And then we'll, you know, the route re redistribution is there, the routes are stable at this point in time. And then what we will do is we're going to create a disturbance in the network by pausing router four. And that's going to simulate the fact that it rebooted or the links rebooted or there was a flap. And then see how this network behaves and how the routing loops and flaps will reveal themselves and how to detect them. So how to detect route instabilities, right? So instability, we, you know, in, in an easy, quick fashion so that you know there is something wrong and then you will go and troubleshoot. And there's a lot of ways to fix this, like, you know, prefix lists and tags and, and admin distance. So we'll, we'll try to, you know, what I've done is I've got a script running on these four routers, which reveals or shows the route every, uh, every second or two seconds just to show the instability. And I've got scripts running where I'll set the admin distance for OSPF external routes to be 255. And that 255 basically means they're least preferred. BGP, remember eBGP is 20, admin 20. So you should see 333 learn by five with admin distance 20 and 666 learn by one and two by admin distance 20. And we'll take a look at that stuff. But this is the current state where the route is stable, routing is stable, and we will you know, toggle this guy will create an instability in the network by pausing for and then bringing it, bringing it back up and see how the routing starts flapping. And until you fix it, it's just going to keep on uh, doing that because of the race condition between the routes that are advertised and injected. So I am going to bring you uh, the consoles. And here they are. And the trace routes are running here. Three hops. Trace routes is running on three and six, with three hops only. And I am going to show you show IP route. 
And here's what you got to look for. Look at the, the time stamp for the routes. And that will give you the, the information on how stable the routing table is. So if I do, uh, if I do show IP route, and then do grep, zero, zero, column, zero, zero, column, zero, and that's the script that I'm running, I do not get anything, right? So let me show you the script. Basically, I'm running show IP route grep, and I'm trying to make sure that I grab all the way to the seconds, hours, minutes, and seconds, so that any routes that is flapping within seconds gets revealed. So I'm going to start running these scripts on this router. So I'm not going to reveal anything because right now the routing is stable. Only on BGP and OSPF routers. The others are running. So now the scripts are running. And now I am going to, and this guy is doing three hops to each other, right? So let's create the instability now. I'm going to pause this guy for a few seconds or minutes and keep an eye on these three routers. They'll start showing route flaps. And look at the, look at this guy. He's having trouble reaching. He's having trouble reaching. As soon as the route starts flapping in between these four routers, BGP, OSPF routers, I will bring this router back on. It's paused right now. And give it a couple of seconds. There you go. The first one popped here. Two seconds, five seconds. And I am going to bring this guy back online. It, just pretend that it rebooted. These, these will start popping too because they're talking BGP, so BGP takes a little more time. And let's bring this guy back on. The race condition should really come. There you go. This guy starts the BGP has flapped here. Three seconds, BGP flapped here. OSPF flapping here still. And now that we can see the route, the trace routes is going longer than three hops and the route instability has started, right? So now you can see the routes are getting flapped and they're not stable in between OSPF and BGP. They're just flapping and flapping and flapping. And that's what typically causes intermittent connectivity in, in networks. Sometimes they will work. Sometimes they will not work. It all depends how quickly the route flapping or route packets are getting to their destination or gateways. But as you can see, the routes are flapping. They're not stabilizing. They're like within seconds and they get refreshed from another update. OS, between OSPF and BGP, they're just flapping on all the four routers, even this one. See that? So all four of them are flapping. Your traffic is, sometimes it would work and sometimes it would not work. It all depends on how the routers are behaving, how complex the routing is, stuff like that. The time stamps on this will probably increase all right, let's stabilize it and we'll see how. So I'm going to set the admin distance for OSPF to 255 on all routers. And that's going to stabilize the routing. Let's kick in, see that guy? And let's start monitoring again.
This one has stabilized, this one has stabilized, this one has stabilized, or let's find out. This one is also stabilized now. And these guys are back to normal timestamps and hops. But what this basically tells you is that if you do see issues in, in network, especially intermittent you know, connectivity, you know, slowness and all that stuff. First thing you should go and look at at any given router is the fact that you do show IP route, look for this route stability. And the best way to look for that is show IP route, grep. Typically it's going to be three octets with hours seconds, minutes and seconds, so you're gonna grab hours. You're looking for unstable route, unstable route, so you're gonna look at for things that are getting refreshed by the second. So you're just gonna, not gonna put the second one, but just like that. And it will show you whether the routes are stable or not. And I'm just running a script to do that. So you can see now, that just by looking at the routing table, you can detect routing loops and flaps. And that is a very typical situation and scenarios uh, in any medium to large enterprises where you've got two or more point of redistribution between OSPF, BGP, or for that matter, any, any IGP, this could be more than two, uh, you know, protocols, OSPF, EA, GRP, or any other, protocol getting into BGP and then BGP going back into each other. And it's a, it's a complex situation to fix it. And then, you know, here I'm fixing it by uh, the admin distance. What I'm doing is I'm just fixing the OSPF external routes, external routes to 255. So, and basically 255 pretty much means ignore, don't look at the external routes and prefer the BGP routes. Uh, you can do that if you know that the external routes are only coming from known points or you can filter them. But typically in, a, in an enterprise, you will be using prefix lists or tags. And I will put a couple more videos using prefix list tags. And this one, obviously, I'm using tags. I'm using admin distance and the config for that is pretty straightforward. Show configuration protocols. Here it is. Distance OSPF external for 255. That's my script is going to look like this. Set distance. It basically says set protocol OSPF OSPF external distance to 255. And then if you look at the routes, you'll see that it is getting those routes with 255 admin distance and it's preferring BGP uh, and then that creates route stability. So it's a complex situation. There are so many ways to solve this problem. I just wanted to illustrate this so I'm, you know, uh, not many people would do uh, admin distance, but just for lab purposes, if you want to come bring up and learn how to look at and, and understand routing loops there. Uh, you know, once you master routing loops uh, and how to fix them, how to detect them, uh, it will give you a uh, definite edge in your expertise. Hope this helps. Let me know if you want uh, anything else that I wanna you wanna see. I can probably put another video on that too. Hope this helps.